Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at how to create a marking guide in any type of activity in Moodle or any type of activity that is graded or will end up in the gradebook. So typically the assignment, discussion, some of the other tools uh, you can create a marking guide. Now a marking guide is actually very similar to a rubric and we'll talk we'll take a look at what the difference are is are in one second. So if you need to, when you are making that uh, marking guide, you obviously want to create that assignment that you, that's going to have that marking guide, uh, and you know you add all the relevant things that you need to. But the important area is here in the grade. You know you want to determine what type of a grade it is, and so you go with points, you go with the maximum amount, and then the grading method. Now this is where you want to act actually select marking guide and then make any of the other adjustments you want on any of these other resources. And here's the important part is if you're going to do a marking guide or rubric for that matter, uh, you don't want to save and return to course. You actually want to save and display because when you save and display, it will bring you to this page, which is the advanced grading. Uh, and notice that when you create an assignment and you include uh, a marking guide or rubric, you'll have this new tab that shows up advanced grading. So we have selected marking guide and similar to rubric, we can either create an entire new one or we can adapt one from a template or somewhere else that we created a, a marking guide. Let's start with define new grading form. And again, we give it a particular name. Um, I'm just going to go with something silly. We can give it a description. And then here we get the the actual creating of the uh, grade itself or creating of the marking guide itself. So what you want to do is first give the criteria each. You can add as many criteria as you want. So maybe this first uh, criteria is content. Here I would provide a description uh, to the students. So uh, draws upon course materials and ideas. I know I'm spelling that wrong, but that's fine. A description from markers is not necessarily is not needed unless you have additional people besides yourself scoring it. And then maximum score. What you want to think about is how many different criteria are you going to have and are they all of equal value? In this case, uh, I think this would be important, so I'm going to put 30, as in 30 points. Remember, we want to make that 100 points that I put in the uh, assignment itself. Now I might want to add more criteria, so in this case I might do arguments, um, and, I, and you know, where it says description for, uh, for students, I would be putting a lot more detail in here, but for now I'm just keeping it simple for this demonstration, so um, solid meat solid analysis, right? Whatever I mean by that, I would give more detail. And again, I would give points here. And then I might add a, another area, which might be uh, creativity and add a few more things. So I can go down, add each of these. Um, and then maybe the last one is syntax. Oops, if I can spell it. Uh, and here we are at 10. So I have my different categories. Now this is one of the this is where it differs from a rubric. It says maximum score 30. So this is a criteria and in this in this case when I'm evaluating a student for content, I would be putting in a numerical score and it would be anywhere between 1 and 30. And that's the difference between this and a rubric. A rubric, you will have a set score for each level of, uh, for, for each of the levels. So you might have a level that is, you know, complete, partially complete, incomplete. And you will give, or you will give each of those a specific numerical score. Whereas here, I actually just give it a, a maximum score and then I will put in whether the student achieved 30 points or 20 points or 25 or, or 21 points uh, and hopefully provide the feedback about why or why not the student did or didn't achieve those those points. So that's the big, dis the big distinction. I can keep adding uh, frequently used comments. If I know there are certain comments I'm going to use frequently, I can actually add them here. And then when I'm grading more easily, just drop them in, which is actually a really cool feature in this space. 
All right, so assuming I'm all set, I would hit Save Marking Guide and make it ready. But I also want to show if I want to actually import a uh, marking guide from another assignment, I would select this option. Once again, if there were any, uh, if there were any institute-wide, if there are any institute-wide marking guides, I would include them here. Um, and I can also include to search my own forms, and that will search across all my courses. So I'm actually going to just select that and not even put anything in here and just hit search. And sure enough, it'll bring up all of the other marking guides that I have from across my different courses. All right, so I can decide, hmm, which one of these do I want to use? Just for the heck of it, I'm going to actually use this one. This looks like it has all the things I need. Excellent. I'm going to use this as a uh, use this form as my template. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to? I'm going to say yes. And then now it is attached as my marking guide for this assignment. Of course, I can go in and edit it. So I might change it to something else. Um, I might change it to actually the name of this assignment. And I might go in and make some tweaks for some of these items. Entirely up to you, but I find that's useful to personalize it to that particular context. Once it's all done, I'm gonna hit save and come back here to assignment. And now it has been attached. So here again, as a student, if I come to view as a student, I'm going to have that additional information here, right? So it's really useful. It's, very, it's a visual clear indicator of, by the way, here's what you're expected to do for each of these. And me as the instructor, when I'm coming in to score these, each of these I can give up to 20 points or less. So that's the marking guide. It is slightly different from the rubric. Both are really useful depending on how or what you're trying to do in terms of the activity or assignment that you're evaluating. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you.